Okay, so welcome to Math Storia and let's solve this problem. So given a quadrilateral inscribed in a circle and take note that the sum of the opposite angles of a quadrilateral is equal to 180 degrees. So if we have this quadrilateral, this one is angle X, this one is angle Y, so again, the sum of these two opposite angles is 180 degrees. So therefore, angle X plus angle Y is equal to 180 degrees. And if this is angle A and angle B, so therefore, angle A plus angle B equals 180 degrees. Then, for this given, so, to solve for this angle Z, since the sum of these two angles is 180 degrees, so we have angle Z plus 93 degrees equals 180 degrees. And to solve for this angle Z, so we have 180 degrees, so transpose this positive 93 degrees, so this becomes negative. 93 degrees. So therefore, angle Z is equal to so 180 minus 93, that's 87 degrees. Then for this angle X, so using this given arc, then from this theorem that if the vertex is in the circumference of the circle, and if this is x, this one is arc y. So to solve for angle x, that's one half of this arc y. So therefore, from this given, to solve for this angle x, that's one half of this arc. So x is equal to one half of this total length of this arc. That's 58 degrees plus 106 degrees. Then we have now one half of this, 58 plus 106, that's 164 degrees. So therefore, angle X is equal to, so we have this 164, then divide by 2, Equal so angle X is 82 degrees. So angle X is 82 degrees. Then to solve for this angle Y, since the sum of these two angles is 180 degrees, so we have now angle Y plus angle X, so that's 82 degrees, then equals. 180 degrees and to solve for this angle y so we have 180 degrees so transpose this 82 that becomes negative 82 degrees so therefore angle y is equal to 180 degrees minus 82 degrees that's 98 degrees so these are now the values for angle X, angle Y, and angle Z.